sharp. My dad's got a big seven. We got it. We'll hook you up today. Thank you. It's a beautiful day, and and uh, this car, I tell you what, they don't make them like they used to, do they? We get back to more of that, I believe we get less of what we've got going on now in Washington. Uh, I'm going to read a couple of quotes from Ronald Reagan this morning. I use them every time I stop, and they really bring home the message. My kids are getting tired of hearing it, but they're, they're really true. Uh, socialism only works in two places, heaven where they don't need it and hell where they already have it. Ronald Reagan said that. He was a great leader. That's good, isn't it? The most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Yeah. Oh, boy, that was true Sunday night, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. The nearest thing to eternal life we will ever see on this earth is a government program. Reagan said that. And the last one, if we ever forget that we're one nation under God, then we will be one nation gone under. We need Christian leaders back in office too, folks. Amen. God was in the center of this country when it was founded, and we need to put him back in the center. Uh, a lot has happened over the last couple of days. I'm going to read something real quick, talk about our future. Uh, Speaker Pelosi urged on by President Obama, Senator Reid, and empowered by John Tanner and every other Democrat who supports this team because... I'm going to tell you, our Democrat opponent in the fall is going to claim he's conservative, he's the middle of the road, he's an old blue dog Democrat. There's no such thing anymore. If you're in a party with Nancy Pelosi and Barney Frank, you're not a conservative Democrat. You're either a conservative Republican, conservative, you're not a conservative Democrat. So we don't need to fall for those same old tricks. When confronted with similar tyranny taxes mandates, our founders wrote a declaration that when any government becomes destructive of liberty, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, to throw off such government, to provide new guards for our future security. Thanks to our founders, we can do just that in November. We can throw off this Congress, abolish this liberal majority, and elect new guards for our future security. And that's why I'm running. This is 